everybody. I am BBXH. Today, I'm going to unbox for you all the Logitech Premium Streaming E-Light. Elytra Beam. So, we'll see what this is about. I have some lighting right now, but this one is a little bit more versatile because it has a three-way stand. So, we could do it, like, up above or right in front of a look see -loo. <laughs> What? Very nice. So it shows the different ways you can use it, how to set it up. So another thing I saw is it has a desktop app and it looks like logitech.com forward slash creators forward slash download, which is awesome because I saw that it has five different settings for brightness and then five different settings for cool versus warm tones, which is nice, especially because for me, I have a window right in front of my stream PC. So it kind of changes throughout the day if I need warmer or cooler or brighter or dimmer light, or sometimes if it's dark in the game, I want it to be a little bit dimmer, so that's really awesome. This is pretty lightweight. This is the light piece, and it has spots on the back for vectors. This is, I guess, the stand for it. Ah, I see. So you can connect it like this, or I can connect it like this, and I think there should be one on the ends. Oh, yeah, there is. So I can connect it like this and tilt it up and down if I want to. That's me. I think it's a, yes, it is USB connection. So easy peasy. Don't know how to do that. Oh, and look, nice little cord press. I like the packaging, I like the orange. And this just looks like the base stand in the bottom. I can get it out. Yeah. Whoa, this has got some weight to it, which is good. Cause obviously we don't want that falling over. Oh yes. Fresh. So it looks like it has a spot to put the stand in the base here. And then we can just set it up on the desk. And I like this because the light that I use now is connected to my desk. And I use a stand-up desk, so I can go up and down. But this would be so much easier to move around as needed, which I do appreciate. Okay, let's set this baby up. I think probably having it horizontally facing me on the stream is probably the best. But I was looking on the website, and there's a bunch of different options as far as how people have the light. Here's the website for this little guy. So I see she has it coming over her PC and that looks like pretty nice lighting on her face. And then, okay, yeah, we could have, if you get two, you could put them on either side, which is awesome. Wow, it's so versatile. And then she's got it right here right above her monitors. I don't know if that would work for me because as you can see, my camera's right up there. But look at this. I mean, that lighting looks awesome right there with the two on the sides. And I like the aesthetic lights in the back, kind of like the ones I have. I can point with this thing right here. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And here's the different cool to warm tones. Like I said, they have five different options for that and for brightness, which is pretty cool. So obviously the stand the base goes into stand like this. It has a little key turn here. I can do that with these nails. Oh yeah, we're in business. Tighten it as much as I can. Yeah, okay. And then I don't know which way. Oh, there's a bunch of buttons on the back. Not sure how I want this. I feel like this would go nicely in between my two monitors. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna attach it vertically because I have two duo monitors. And because this is so nice and skinny, I feel like it can just sneak right in between the two. Pretty quick setup, I must say. All right, we got it attached. Wow, that's cool. USB plug and it has the, it looks like hold the, or cable management on the back. I wanted to say cord holders. I don't know what else we would call them. It has the type C plug on the back. We'll stick it in the little cord holder friend. Oh, it popped right in there. There's two cord management pieces on the back and then a little slot on the base there. And I think there's a, Pretty good amount of cord. If it doesn't, my PCs are all the way on the other side though. So might need an extender, but might not. We'll see. Okay, plugged in the light. Now we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna just manually turn it on. You can kind of see here. Eh? What do you think? Dun, dun, dun. And I can tilt it. Bit. Way there. That's pretty nice, huh? Then on the back, I've got different options. Oh, and it swivels. You can do softer, softer, brighter. Oops, I turned it off. Wrong button. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, we do warmer. Ooh, some warm light. Super warm. 
<laughs> Give myself a nice little tan there. But the warmest? Yeah. And that's the coolest. Coolest tone. That's the brightness brighter. <sighs> you can kind of see here. And then I could swap this around if I want it to be horizontal. That looks pretty nice, especially for a lightweight light. It doesn't take up a lot of room on my desk. So I think this one's a win for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed once again. This is the Lytra Beam by Logitech for creators, which is pretty cool. It does come with the desktop app, which I love. It makes it easier for us to be able to change it on the fly, but it has the manual buttons on the back. Three different options on the stand, five different options for brightness, five different options for warmth versus cooler tones. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy. It's only $99 on the website. Very lightweight. The base does have some weight to it so it will stay put safely on your desk and I approve and the rest of this is being filmed with the light on so let's go.